It's a Monday. Uh, okay, so that means uh, the next part of this tutorial is going to be going to do that. So in the last part, we lined up our our blueprint images. We have um, let me just turn this on real fast. We have our right side view lined up. Um, we have our front side view lined up. We have our rear side view lined up, and top side view lined up. So our background image is all ready to go, and in this section we're going to start modeling our actual car. And I just wanted to share this definition of 3D modeling, um, just so we know exactly what our, our goal is here. Uh, so 3D modeling is the process of creating a 3D representation of any surface or object by manipulating polygons, edges, and vertices in a simulated 3D space. So our 3D representation is going to be this uh, the Dodge Challenger car, and we model it by just what am I saying? Uh, we're basically just going to be making shapes, a car shape, by editing the individual vertices within that shape. Yeah bad at words. I don't like I don't like it. Um, Alright, so we're gonna start out with a simple shape such as the roof. It's a fairly flat and um, simple object to make and then we'll use that to get acquainted with a lot of the different tools and shortcuts that we're gonna be use, using throughout the process of creating the entire vehicle. Um, but we'll start off slow and uh, move our way up, make our way up within this project. So uh, first of things first, I'm going to delete this cube we used to line up uh, our blue background images uh, by using X and just confirming that selection. I'm going to go to our top view, and right now we don't have any objects in our scene, and we kind of need to start with something. So I'm going to add this little add button on the bottom is how we add things, or you can just click shift A in our 3D view and go to mesh plane. And since a car is a symmetrical object, there's an object modifier, which is in the properties tab that we can use to uh, help us there. So in our properties tab, I'm gonna just make it a little bigger. There's a bunch of different buttons on top. We're gonna go to our object modifiers one, which is it has a little picture of a wrench. Then we're gonna add modifier and mirror. So right now, in object mode, mirror doesn't do anything. But if we go into edit mode, if you call that's tab, uh, and select one of our vertices with right click and G to move it around, whatever we do on one side happens on the other side as well. So what I want to do, oh, my alarm is going off. Stop. Um. I'm going to select these two vertices here using uh, shift right click to select more than one object and I'm just going to um, use this red arrow to drag them over here to the other side of this y axis line and then in our uh, modifier I'm going to enable clipping and clipping is a helpful option that allows us to not bring our, our vertices onto the other side of what we're mirroring so that works just how we want it to. So I'm just going to bring those to the center point. And then I'm going to start lining these vertices up with the uh, lines on our background image. Uh, don't forget you have the tool of wireframe mode with the Z so you can actually see what you're doing. Select these two vertices, G to move them around into place. I'm going to repeat the process down here. And we're just going to follow that, this little section here. So right now we only have the four vertices to make up this shape. And kind of need more geometry in order to get the result we're looking for. So a common way to do this is um, loop cuts. 
So we can loop cut. If you open up our, your toolbar with T, there's a, a loop cut and slide button under the tools tab. But uh, since it's one of the more common things, the shortcut for it is control R. So if you click control R and hold it, your mouse over an edge, you get these purple lines. And if you scroll up on your mouse wheel while doing this, you can uh, increase your amount of loop cuts. So I'm going to go with three and just left click and then you can start sliding them around. And I'm just going to left click where I want them, like there. And I'm going to start go to our, our I'm going to go to our right side view, which was three, and start lining all these vertices up. I'm going to select everything with A. G, Z is so locked to the Z axis. And then I'm going to select these vertices, bring them up here. And uh, another way to select things is you have your right click, but you can also use box select with B. So it opens up this little menu, and you, can, you can just drag a box over the items you want it to select. Maybe something like that. And another way to select objects is uh, Shift Alt Right Click. That's a bit of a crazy shortcut, um, but it selects an entire edge loop of vertices, which is helpful. Now again, that's uh, Shift Alt Right Click. It, it didn't show up in the down here for some reason. I'm going to select that edge loop and just um, bring it down, start lining these vertices up to this line here. These ones can probably come up a little bit. So now we have that shape. Now uh, we probably could use some more edge loops here. So I'm going to control R to make a loop cut here. Just use G to bring it into uh, its place. And then the same thing back here as well. So that looks pretty good um, from our top side. Actually, let's uh, bring these vertices out to just uh, very subtle, but move them out like that. Probably add a loop cut. Actually, before we do that, let's go to our front side view. And that looks pretty good. So I am going to add a loop cut um, across this way at edge. Again, control R and just left click or right click. Um, then I'm just going to bring these vertices to place. Shift Alt right click this vertice, this edge loop, go to our front view, and we can line that up according to the curvature of the roof there. And now I'm just going to tab out into object mode so we can see the um, the shape we've made so far. So that looks like a roof. Like I mentioned, it's, it is pretty simple. It's, for the most part, pretty flat. Uh, but now we already know how to add more geometry, position vertices. Um, we've enabled our mirror modifier, so we know how to do that. Uh, loop select. Select things in a bunch of different ways. And one thing to keep in mind, I'm just going to mention this now. Uh, so a, a term that we use in 3D modeling is topology, which I think ology is technically a study of something. Um, but topology references or refers to the um, sort of the edge flow that we have within our models. Um, say, for example, Right now we have a bunch of different quadrilaterals or four vertices to make up 
this entire shape, which is good clean topology, which is a good practice to keep in mind when 3D modeling. Um, however, there are a lot of different ways you can model. Um, for example, one way to um, create 3D shapes is by sculpting, which results in triangles. And that can get messy if you're trying to select things with by edge loops or it's just hard harder to work with. There's a lot of background noise and I'm semi distracted. <coughs> um, but that was a pretty basic start into modeling. Um, I'm gonna call it quits for now and in the next part we'll continue with our model. Maybe Maybe we can start just moving downwards along these these pillars and stuff. And maybe we'll go over to our window areas. Um, but yeah, hopefully, uh, let me know how the pace is for you guys. If it's, it's kind of slow or um, in the future I plan on it, and like the upcoming parts will get a, be a bit faster, but let me know how um, the pace is um, for your learning experience. I uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the next part. Hope you learned something cool and useful. Uh, yeah, see ya.